everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video I have a new buy it or pass it for you guys um, now this is my series based off the series that Samantha March does she does a will I buy it every Wednesday um, I loved her series so I created my own version uh, she also has a playlist so if this is something that you like there's a whole playlist with all different kinds of YouTube creators uh, in this category so I will have her channel and that playlist linked down below so let's go ahead and dive right in okay so our first item on the list is a new Viseart palette uh, this is their Viseart Koi palette so this is definitely a bright colorful shimmer palette this is all shimmers um, Viseart is kind of Viseart is pricey it is an $80 price tag if I'm not mistaken these are actually already available for pre-order they went uh, available on January 1st now these colors look really really pretty however I do not need an all shimmer palette from Viseart um, I have so many colorful shimmers it is outrageous but for $80 I really don't want to purchase an all shimmer palette um, I do have their neutral matte palette which this palette is so amazing like I can't even describe in words the love I have for this palette. It helps me create some really, really nice looks. This is definitely worth the price tag, um, but I can use this for anything that I need. My crease, a solid matte look, everything that I need can be in here. I'm not gonna get that out of an all shimmer palette, so I will be passing on that. Alamar Cosmetics is releasing their second palette. This is the Reina de Carabae. I, I know I murdered that okay so this is their second palette you have four mattes and four shimmers um, it is $28 and then they are also coming out with a brush set there's three different brushes for $18 so I think this palette is really pretty I just don't think the colors are up my alley they're pretty much something that I have in my collection already the brushes I really don't need I do have a whole bunch of brushes um, but I I pretty much stick with the brush loves that I have my BH Cosmetics, my e.l.f., my Real Techniques, and my Sigma. Those are like my go-to brushes. I love them so much. So these are both going to be a pass for me. So Physicians Formula and Casey Holmes has announced a collaboration. Um, they came out with, I guess you can call it a palette. Um, you get a bronzer, a blush, a highlight, four different eyeshadows, a lipstick, and I guess a uh, butter perfume. Um, I like Casey Holmes, but I really don't like the Physicians Formula anything. Their bronzer, I don't really find it appealing. The color is nice, but I just can't stand the smell. So I wouldn't use any product in here that has that smell to it. Um, especially that perfume. That perfume would not be for me. The lipstick is really pretty. The packaging looks really really bulky you guys I know they just came out with like another bronzer blush highlight package or palette whatever but that was super bulky um, and this is just another bulky one so the price is $19.95 you can get this on physiciansformula.com however it is out of stock right now they do plan on restocking um, so if this is something that is up your alley you could still get your hands on it I just like I said, I don't see how practical this is with how bulky it is. Once that perfume is gone, you have an empty space. The lipstick you're gonna take out, probably not leave in the box. I personally just don't like the way that this is put to, packaged together. Um, so a lot of reasons I won't be getting this one. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the smell. I'm not a fan of the packaging. I love Casey Holmes, but I'm gonna have to pass on this. All right, so up next, um, we have a lot of concealers and foundations to talk about. Uh, right out of the bat, there were just so many releases that have been announced. So Milani Cosmetics is releasing new concealers. So it says they are cruelty-free and 100% vegan. So that makes me super excited. Um, I'm not really sure how many shades they're gonna be coming out with. Um, but considering that there has been big announcements for other companies, which we'll get to in just a minute, hopefully it is along 
of a nice shade range category. If they are smart, they will do both ends of the spectrum very, very well. So I'm hoping for that. When I find out more information, of course, I will let you guys know. Um, so this is supposed to be launching. So this video is live as of January 8th and the launch date for the Milani Cosmetics Concealer is January 8th. So once you see this video, you should be able to go purchase it if it's something that you are interested in. I'm definitely interested in picking up a shade myself. Milani Cosmetics is a drugstore brand, so they are quite affordable. Uh, the concealer will be available for $8.99. You should be able to find this at Walmart or Walgreens, Target. So super excited to get my hands on one. All right, so the next round of concealers that are coming out is from Makeup Forever. Um, I do love their foundation. However, I'm very disappointed in the shade range that they are releasing. They are only releasing 22 different shades and it's just a mess. Like if other companies are coming out with a beautiful shade range and you decide release concealers but it's 22 shades i think you can do a little bit better than that um there is hardly anything for your deeper skin tone ladies i just think that for 2019 we can do so much better they have every foundation in the book there's like yellow undertones and red undertones and whatever but for concealers you're going to start that small with that short of a spectrum I just think that is absolutely ridiculous so I will not be purchasing this it's supposed to launch in May in 2019 maybe they'll show more shades once people realize what shades they are coming out with I don't know um, but this one's just a huge disappointment and I'm staying away from it all right, so Morphe Cosmetics, this is one of the bigger announcements, has announced they are coming out with 60 shades of foundation. That's right, you heard it, 60 shades. That is a lot, that is exciting. Um, they're also coming out with two primers, 31 concealers, and 15 powders. Now, there's been a little bit of conflict with this upcoming release. If you look at this right here, this is supposed to be their shade range. You see women of all different colors. By looking at this picture, you would think that the shade range is going to be amazing. Um, however, now when you look at this picture, this is of the actual photo of the PR package. It doesn't look that extensive compared to what we just saw. It really doesn't. Now you can't always judge a book by its cover. Um, I would have to see swatches to compare uh, the picture A to picture B, but a lot of people are concerned that the foundations aren't matching what the people on the pictures represent. I will say, looking at the PR package, it does not match the picture with the people in it. That's all I have to say right now. I'm sure we'll see more um, upcoming photos, hopefully, when this releases. So the foundation is $18 each. They're sweat proof, transfer resistant, water resistant, free of oils, fragrance, and paraben free. It's supposed to be great for all skin types, soft matte finish, and full coverage. So this is supposed to be available January 17th. So we shall see. That's all I gotta say, we shall see. Um, now, if you look at the concealers, the concealers, man, something just looks weird to me. I see a lot of reds, I, I don't know. So the concealers are going to be $9 each. They're supposed to be 16 hour long wear. Uh, the two primers are $12 a piece and your powder shades are $12 each. So. Like I said, we'll just see what the future holds. We'll see when it starts, people start doing videos um, of what exactly the shade range is truly going to be. All right, you guys. So this one I am extremely happy about. Um, Fenty Beauty is coming out with 50 concealers, okay? She's coming out with eight setting powders and 10 new foundation shades. Now, if you guys know Fenty Beauty, she came out with a very nice, extensive shade range for foundation. I think her shade range just kind of woke everybody up, blew everybody out of the water and said, hey, I'm here, this is what it's supposed to look like, this is how many shades you're supposed to have. And she did a remarkable job. I am so excited about the concealers. 
because if anybody can do concealers right, it's going to be Fenty Beauty. She's going to come out with the same exact thing for concealers as far as shades go. She's going to have a concealer for everybody. And I commend Fenty Beauty for doing something like that. That is just absolutely amazing. I have tried her foundation and I actually, I did love it. However, I think it was breaking me out. So I did take a pause from it. Um, I would love to give it another try, but we will do that later. Um, <laughs> as far as the concealers go, I'm super excited. I definitely want to try a concealer from Fenty Beauty. This is on my wish list. Um, I do have two concealers. I have the Tarte Shape Tape, which is my tried and true. I love this so much. I have the Born This Way, which I really have come not to like this for my under eyes, so I use it for my cut creases. So the only concealer I actually have right now is my Tarte Shape Tape. So um, I have a feeling that Fenty Beauty is going to could possibly replace this. So we shall see. This is definitely on my buy list. Um, and I'm so excited for it. So this will be available January 11th and I will be right there to get mine. All right, you guys. So Essence is coming out with a whole entire collection. Um, now I know it's still winter time and we still have a couple months left of winter. However, usually around this time you start seeing stuff for the upcoming spring. Everything is just pushed really, really fast in the beauty community. And I feel like this launch is a little late. Um, this isn't even coming out until January, February of some time. And I just feel like everybody will be releasing their spring stuff. So that actually already makes me kind of not interested in these products. The packaging is super, super pretty. If this would have been like released maybe in November or even December, I probably would have been interested. Um, but I'm just gearing up for all the spring releases. So that is why I will be passing on this. So you have an eyeshadow palette um, with 14 different shades, four blushes, and six highlighters. Looks like there's some glitter, a makeup pouch, a brush, just all kinds of stuff going on. And like I said, the packaging is so pretty. Oh my gosh, the A plus on the packaging. It is absolutely gorgeous, but just wrong timing. I would really like to know if you guys are interested in this collection. Is this something that you would still purchase being that spring will be here in just a couple of months and you know that the makeup companies are coming up with their spring ideas. Um, would you still purchase this? Is this a palette that you would be interested in? Have you even tried an Essence palette? I know I haven't, um, if, but if you have, I would like to know what you guys think of it. And last but not least, we have the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded Palette. Now, they did do away with the original Naked Palette, said it's not coming back, and here it is as a Naked Reloaded. Now, I did not buy the original palette. Um, the colors just were not interesting to me. The packaging was okay. Um, just something I wasn't into. So now that they've come out with the Reloaded Palette, I look at all the shades and I just think, man, there's my soft glam. Those are colors I already have. Um, there's nothing special about this. Yeah, I'm sure the packaging is redone, um, like their Naked Heat and Naked Cherry, so I'm sure it's definitely a nicer packaging. But the colors in here just remind me of everything I already own. Like I can dig pretty much you know, four or five palettes that I have, and I can bring out these colors. So that is definitely not making me want to purchase this. I was hoping that they would come out with something new and exciting. Come out with something like the electric palette. Everybody misses the electric palette. Um, do that again. Don't don't play it safe, Urban Decay. That's all I feel that they're doing. They're playing it safe, and I think it's a fail. According to Makeup Hunter News, um, I don't see a date for a release, uh, but. I'm not interested anyway. If you guys are interested, leave me a comment down below and I will definitely, as soon as I find the date, I will reply back to you and let you know when the release date is. All right, you guys. So that is it for this buyer to pass it. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a big ol' thumbs up for me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.